This is question six. Here we're told the width of a rectangle is a whole number of centimetres. Then we're told the length of the rectangle is nine centimetres longer than its width. The perimeter of the rectangle is less than 200 centimetres. And we're asked to find the greatest possible width of the rectangle. So in order to think about this, I'm going to draw a quick sketch of a rectangle. And what I am told is that the width of a rectangle is a whole number of centimetres. So I'm not given any information about what the width is. What I could say is that this, the width, is an unknown number. And so because it is an unknown number, I can think of this width, or I could call this width x. So I'm going to label my width on my rectangle as x. And then I'm told that the length of the rectangle is 9 centimetres longer than its width. So if I'm calling my width x, that means that I can call my length x plus 9, because it is 9 centimetres longer than its width. So my length is x plus 9, so I'm going to label both of those. Then what I am told is that the perimeter of the rectangle is less than 200 centimetres. So what I can then say is that, well, how do I calculate the perimeter of a rectangle? Well, all that I do is I just add the sides together. So my sides are algebraic expressions. So I'm just going to add, I'm going to add those algebraic expressions together. So what I can say is that x plus x plus 9 plus x plus x plus 9, what I can say is that that is less than 200 centimetres. So when I add all of my widths and lengths together, I know that the when I add them all together, it's going to be less than 200. So what I have done here is I've just formed an inequality. All that's left for me now to do is to solve this inequality, and that will allow me to find the greatest possible width of the rectangle. So to solve this inequality, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to collect the x's together. x plus x plus x plus x gives me 4x. And then 9 plus 9 gives me 18. So what I can say is that 4x plus 18 will be less than 200. Then solving this, so subtracting 18 from both sides, what I can then say is that 4x will be less than 200 subtract 18. So 200 subtract 18, that's going to give me 182. And then to figure out what x is going to be, less than. Well, that means to get rid of, um, so to undo multiply by 4, so divide by 4, that gives me 182 divided by 4, which is, um, that's going to give me 45.5. So I've solved my inequality, and I can say that x is less than 45.5. Now, if I refer back to my question, I'm asked to find the greatest possible width of the rectangle, and I know that x is less than 45.5. So if x is less than 45.5, and then I'm also told that the width is a whole number of centimetres, what I can say, the greatest possible width of the rectangle is going to be the greatest number that is less than 45.5 that's also a whole number. So the greatest possible width of the rectangle is going to be 45 centimetres. So final answer, 45 centimetres.